Welcome to another study abroad pre-departure orientation video entitled Insurance and Emergencies. Bad stuff can happen anywhere, but trouble overseas comes with its own complications. Let's talk about it. All CSUF students studying abroad will receive travel insurance at no extra charge to them. It's only good for the duration of your program, obviously, and should be your primary insurance during that time. Once your insurance has been processed, you will receive this insurance card from the Study Abroad Office. In the event of an emergency, we want to be there for you. However, for different people, emergency can mean very different things. For the record, here's what we consider actual emergencies. Serious mental or physical health problem, social or political crisis, intense natural disaster like a tsunami or an earthquake, legal problems like arrest, Title IX issues, etc. As much of a bummer as it might be, I don't like my roommate, the food is gross, my AC is broken, scholarship issues, etc. are not legitimate emergencies. Those can be handled with a simple call during office hours. In the event of a real emergency, being prepared is key. It's important for your family to have your contact info, but make sure we at CSUF have theirs as well. We may contact you or them as needed. Review your insurance policy before you head out. It wouldn't be a bad idea to print out a copy and keep it close by while you're traveling either. For lesser emergencies, you can call the Study Abroad Office between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. For the type of emergency you'd normally call 911 for, call the CSUF Campus Police Dispatch Number. You should also research the emergency number for the country you're traveling to. A link to the State Department's list of emergency numbers can be found in the description below this video. When you're abroad and dealing with a real emergency, there are some best practices you should follow. First, we can only help with situations we're aware of. Email the Study Abroad Office for all of your lesser emergencies and we'll be more than happy to help. Again, save the emergency number for the unlikely scenario that it seriously hits the fan. Secondly, stay as calm and relaxed as the situation allows. No emergency, no matter how big or little, was ever improved by freaking out. Lastly, if the situation calls for it, document the events involved. Symptoms, behaviors, dates, who you spoke to, and so on. You never know what might be useful. As a CSUF student, you have access to ACE Travel Assistance. In the event of a real crisis, they should be your first call. Unless you need emergency police or medical assistance, then they should be your second call. If a crisis abroad threatens your health or safety, like a sudden military event, serious illness, or local communication problem, call the 24-hour ACE Travel Assistance Line. Once you've contacted them, contact us. We'll definitely want to know about any situation that's severe enough to warrant calling ACE Travel Assistance, and we may be able to offer other help. Thanks for watching. In the description below this video, you'll find links to the rest of the videos in this series, as well as links to various sections of this video in case you want to review anything in particular. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact the CSUF Study Abroad Office.